Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna be using orange hair wax on my hair. So I already washed my hair and conditioned it and everything like that, and I'm just taking it out of the towel. And now I'm just separating it and parting it. First I'm parting it only just in half for right now. And I'm taking some conditioner, or first I'm taking some water, and I'm spraying my hair just to refresh it because it looked really dry. And now I'm using a leave-in, and this leave-in is by Shea Moisture, and I'm putting that on that section. Now that I have the leave-in and the water and all that on that section, I'm going to go ahead and tie it up. And now I'm doing the same steps and adding the same products on this side. So I went ahead and sectioned my hair off again and this is so it's easier to apply the wax to this side instead of doing the whole the whole half of my head I guess. Also this is how the wax looks on the outside. This is the brand and everything and then this is what the wax looks like inside. It's orange like I said and yeah so now I'm just going in and I'm using my fingers. I didn't use any gloves either. It didn't like stain my hands like that but I'm going in on that section and I'm just raking it through my hair. I always finger detangle my hair but like specifically for this I didn't want to use any brushes or combs or anything and I didn't want anything that I have getting stained so that's why I'm also using my hands. But I've finished the back portion I'm moving up to the front and when I do this I'm trying not to get any of it on my actual roots um, as much as I can. I got some on my roots which is okay but I try to kind of avoid my roots and yeah. So I went ahead and I took the back section out and I'm now just combining the sections together and this is how it looks. It's still wet and everything so it's not the final result but I went ahead and now I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm making a part and sectioning that part off and I'm putting the wax on and I'm just basically doing the same thing I did on the other side to this side. So once I'm done with that side, I'm putting more wax wherever I see that I might have missed a spot, wherever I can still see my hair color. And I'm also going to get the back too. I didn't really focus that much on the back, but now I am. This is how it's looking. It's not like bad like that. I still see some of my hair color. And I'm kind of just combining it also because there's like a really deep part. So I went ahead and I put some more coloring on the front part of my hair. I didn't want to get it right on my roots, but I kind of had to because it looked a little patchy to me. So this is how my hair is looking while it's still wet and this is how it looks when it's dry. It didn't dry completely 100%, probably like 80% dry, but it's good enough for me to do the banding method. And also I have a video on that on my channel, so if you want to watch that after this, you can. Also, I didn't even mention that I have another hair color, hair wax paint uh, video on my channel. So if you want to watch that after this, you can as well. So once I finished banding up my hair, this is how it looked. And then I went ahead and transformed. It's the very next day. And this is how my hair is looking. I let it sit for about, it was like a full 24 hours actually. But now I'm taking bands out and unraveling my hair. And before I do anything to my hair, I want to real quick do my edges. I should have did it while my hair was still banded, but I went ahead and did them. It was kind of hard to do them because it was like a lot of wax and stuff. And I don't know, it was hard to do them. So I did them on that side. On this side, it was a little bit harder to do, but you know, it's whatever. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down and I'm basically parting and sectioning my hair in smaller sections, but I'm making sure that every strand is getting out, every strand is getting fluffed out, and um, I'm kind of pulling it also at the same time, especially on this side because this side my hair is shorter and I just want this side to even up with the other side. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm doing the same thing to both sides. Also on this side, um, I took some water. I'm gonna do it on both sides, but I took some water and especially in the front, my hair looked really dry, so I wanted to add some water just some moisturizer to my hair so yeah i'm doing that to that side i'm doing the same thing to the other side
So like I said, my hair was really frizzy and kind of dry in the front. So I took a little bit of gel and I'm only focusing this part on the front portion. And I'm taking it and I'm finger coiling through some of my hair in the front just to help add, add some moisture, add some definition back to it and all that. And I'm doing it on both sides. Also, I was trying to smooth it back some because a lot of my hair was like in my face and I'm not trying to go for bangs, so I tried to smooth it back also. But this is how my hair is looking. This is how it looks on both sides. Now, the color isn't orange, but it is a really nice kind of honey blonde color. And for me, I don't know, I see like an ombre-ish thing in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me know if you can. But that is all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video and everything that I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos for me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!